and getting the, bringing you those great camera angles of the snail. Now we need a fungi. Where's a fungi? Let me see if I can find one. I don't think it will eat it if I were to give it to it though. <laughs> I think it would probably just retract and retreat into its shell as they do when they are frightened. But isn't it beautiful? And look at that secreting all of that slime from a gland situated just at, at the base of their sort of foot and that allows them to move quite swiftly, well, in terms of a snail pace, really, uh, and quite easily along all the different types of debris. But that is so cool. And this is a particularly big one too. Not the biggest, I've definitely seen much larger. We normally see much larger shells of the African land snail, but you better be careful, Sebastian, it's going to eat the camera. It's coming straight towards the camera, it's so cool. You're being charged by the stand your ground! <laughs> Nobody move! <laughs> of course, these are the things we have to shout when you're being charged by an actual animal that would threaten your life. But something like an African land snail, well, that's not really going to bother us too much. How cool is that? I just also, you know what I love the most is the sort of grooves that it has on the foot itself. And the patterns are, are are spectacular, and then of course the tentacles, the two tent two pairs of tentacles. It's got the eyes, and then the mouth tentacles, sensual nerves. I'm sort of always looking for something to eat. I'm desperately looking for a tiny little fungus. I want to feed the snail, but like I said, I don't think it's going to work. I'm just I just really want to see it so badly that I'd be naughty. But luckily for me, my temptation is stopped by the fact that there are no mushrooms around. Oh, this is pretty cool. Now I've just found something else too, uh, in some very elephant dung. I want to draw your attention away from the snail. Is look at this dung beetle and how it's covered in mites. Can you see that? Isn't that incredible? This one has got an infestation of mites though. It is normal for dung beetles to have a small amount of them, typically around the legs, and it's important for them to have those mites because of, as you've probably heard before, they do exude a substance and without the mites constantly um, eating away at that sticky substance, it ends up clogging their legs up and preventing them from, walk, but I th from walking. But I think this one has got, like I said, an over population of parasites and I don't know how well it's doing it doesn't look particularly healthy now it shouldn't even be out just yet because it's still quite chilly and unless you're a snail that's going this is quite funny the snail is about to join the shot <laughs> of the dung beetle that is so cool how is that now it's not going to be interested in the dung beetle at all as the African land snails are only eating vegetation, so from flowers to leaves, and I'm sure mushrooms as well, marula fruits. I think we've seen them eat a marula fruit once too. Yeah, so you're going to go and say hello to. It's so cool. He's crossing the fire. It's crazy. How rude is that though? And I'm now, now everybody, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait patiently for the next 10 minutes before I can continue talking about the dung beetle. Snail. Yeah, we've got to wait for the snail to move out of frame, but that is really, really cool, don't you think? Look at the light. Now, Chris, you're wondering if the snail is carnivorous. I've never seen an African land snail feeding on um, anything other than really fungi and, and flowers, to be honest. Oh, I'm so sorry. I stood in the, sh in the, um, in the sunlight and blocked uh, the lovely golden light. So, no, I think that these guys are just feeding on a vegetation. But, again, I could be mistaken. And, well, nature is just pretty spectacular. Sometimes all these things happen. Sorry, no, no, that was me standing behind you. But how great was that? Oh my gosh, the snail got a fright. Its tentacles touched the piece of wood and it didn't like that very much and just sort of pulled its entire face back in. So now it's got into its little protective shell and it probably won't come out for, for a while. So I think we shall leave the snail.